how copy monitor command is done in Revit models and basically done for the federated models. Now, whenever you create any kind of a project, you need to have multiple files such as datum file, architectural file, MEP file, structure file. So now what is datum file? Datum file is something which contains only datum elements. Datum elements are levels and grids. So whenever there is a change in a grid position or a level name or level height, it would reflect automatically in all other models such as architectural and MEP. Now, why do we need to create two separate files or multiple separate files? Uh, because if some architect or if by user uh, the grid position might change automatically or uh, by mistake, then you can simply monitor it with the datum file. OK, so let's make only levels and grids in this particular file in datum file and save it up. After that, we'll simply open new file and let's say it would be an architectural file. OK, this is my architectural file and we'll link this datum file here. In this architectural model. After that, we'll simply go to collaborate tab and <clears throat> there is an option of copy monitor. So in copy monitor, we'll simply select the link like this. And then we'll go to copy. Now comes the option of multiple. Now what is multiple? If we want to select only single grid, we can select it directly. If we want to select multiple elements, then we need to check on multiple. After that, we'll simply drag and select and finish it up. After finishing it up, will again finish the copy monitor command. And now if we select any grid, this grid has been copied to architectural file and it is monitored from the datum file. If we go to uh, elevation, you can see two levels, which is level two and level one. Now if we repeat the same process for levels, let's see the difference here. <clears throat> so we'll select this copy multiple and like this so you will see the change in level 2 level 2 was initially at 4000 now it is automatically dragged to 3000 and will finish it up and as you can see another levels are also created which was not there earlier now the biggest thing here is if i go back to the datum file and let's do some changes here. Let's say if we move this grid, if we rename this grid to let's say D.1, if we move this grid, and then in the elevation, we'll simply move this level and let's change the name of this level to level A or whatever it is. After that, we'll save this file and go back to our architectural file. An architectural file will simply go to manage links and reload that file because we actually need to reload. Now after reload, it will behave like a XRF in AutoCAD. If we reload it, okay, it will behave as a XRF. As you can see, the grids are showing double double here. OK, and even the name is overlapping. Now, whenever we select the link, there is an option here which is coordination review or this option would be available whenever you go to collaborate tab here coordination review. Both are same things, so we'll go to coordination review, select the link and you can see the changes we have done in the datum file. And to change them, if I drop down this, you can see E grid name has been changed to D1. Grid A position has been moved like this. OK, so you can take the action. Let's say rename element E. Then 
modify grid A, modify grid one and click apply. So all the changes will done automatically. If I talk about levels, I'll simply go to elevation. OK, and do the same thing here. For levels. So we'll rename the level four. And. This will do modify. Or move level two, like this. So the changes would be done and can be tracked. So this datum file and the copy monitor thing, it actually needs to be done in each and every project so that by mistakenly, if your grids and levels are moved, you can able to modify them back. 